Hello everyone. Um, life's been getting in the way of my painting a little bit, but I have managed to finish another unit of heavy dragoons for the Crimean War, British Army. Uh, here they are. Um, they're exactly the same figures as the previous two units that I've shown you, so I put the earlier two in the background there so that you can see I'm not just recycling the same figures over and over. Um, so these represent the 5th Princess Charlotte of Wales's Dragoon Guards. Um, they differ from the others only in that they have green faces, um, not green faces, sorry, green facings, um, which you can barely see uh, because the only, uh, the only bit of green showing is on the collars, the uh, cuffs being hidden by the white gauntlets and they have brass helmets um, rather than the white metal of this unit at the back here. The, this unit has brass, this, the, the, the Princess Charlotte's has brass and this unit which I think is the uh, 4th Royal Irish Dragoon Guards um, have, have white metal helmets. And uh, yeah, nice, you know, enjoyable to paint again. I really like these Eureka figures. Um, getting pretty close now to uh, finishing my British Army. Uh, I've got two more units of heavy dragoons to paint up, and then my British Army will be complete. Um, one of the units will be, again, the uh, the same looking, same type of figures. Um, which I'll paint up to represent the, I think it's the sixth, yeah, the sixth inner skilling, inner skilling dragoons, and then I'll have a unit of the um, what are they called? The Royal Royal North British dragoons, which were of course with the uh, Scots Greys, so they had retained the uh, similar kind of uniform to their appearance during the Napoleonic Wars. So they'll, they'll be fun to paint, and then I'll then I'll be done with my British Army, and I'll show you the. The whole lot when I'm done. It might take me some time, as I say, not getting much painting done um, uh, at the moment. And uh, not much more to say other than if you're wondering who Princess Charlotte of Wales was, um, uh, she wasn't contemporary with the Crimean War. Um, in fact, she was uh, the daughter or the eldest child and daughter of George the Fourth and uh, she died uh, she would have become she would have been queen had she survived George the fourth uh, but in fact she um, passed away after um, giving birth to a child who also died um, in, I think it was 1821 so George the fourth succeeded uh, sorry George the fourth uh, survived her and was succeeded by William the fourth who was childless and therefore Victoria came to the came to the throne um, and was queen at the period of the Crimean War. Um, yeah, that's that's everything. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Bye for now.